Hello and welcome. My name is Roger and this is your Daily Tarot Map for Friday, May 22nd, 2015. Using Tarot to create the life you want. First off, a big thank you to everybody for liking these videos, for subscribing to them, for sharing them on, on your social networks. I really appreciate your support. So this week, we continue our work with the new Palladini Tarot, created by David Palladini. And the three cards drawn randomly from the deck today were the Knight of Rods, the Five of Cups, and the Five of Pentacles. So the Knight of Rods, the first card in our reading, is typically a card of action. It's about getting things done. It's a card of enthusiasm and excitement. However, given that this fire card is kind of ill-dignified by the water card next to it, I see this as suggesting perhaps that you rein in your enthusiasm a bit. I mean, you might be like a little bit too scattered. You might be everywhere in it. And you might need to stop for a moment and then take care of some pressing issues at hand. But you know, what I'm really seeing here is that idea of leaving, of departure. Now, if you look at the image, the young man is on his horse and his back is facing the, uh, the other two cards in his spread, which is probably a good thing considering what the other two cards are. But, so, but, but he is moving away from the scene. He's departing. Now, this idea continues with our next card, the Five of Cups. You know, cups correspond to our emotional life and our relationships. And what I'm seeing here is a dis disenchantment with the present relationship or situation. So there is a desire for change, a feeling that things cannot continue the way they are. Now, I sometimes call this card the card of tough choices because it often involves taking action that might require you to distance yourself from or completely sever certain relationships. Now, these aren't happy, healthy, shiny relationships I'm talking about, um, but rather those relationships or situations that are causing you pain or unhappiness. Um, these are the kind of relationships that are unhealthy for your spirit. Now, they don't necessarily mean romantic relationships, though they can, as they can also point to an unhealthy business environment, a toxic partnership, or, or even a codependent friendship. What's important here is that you use the wisdom to know truly whether the relationship you're in is indeed harming you. You know, severing emotional ties is never easy and should only be done after a lot of careful thought as we want to ensure that you aren't hurting others needlessly. <clears throat> Leaving a loved one simply because you're bored is not always the best course of action. Now once you do walk away you might be feeling a bit out in the cold as it were and disconnected as we see with our last card the five of pentacles. Uh, now this card is typically associated with material troubles but in this situation I see it perhaps as suggesting emotional poverty that you are involved in a negative mind loop which isn't surprising if you've just uh, left a destructive or unhealthy situation you know that we mentioned uh, uh, earlier. Now, sometimes it does take some time to recover from a major life change. So initially, you might want to spend some time away from the hustle and bustle of life and take a break, if possible, to formulate your plan. You know, oftentimes this card advises us to move into new directions involving making some uh, lifestyle changes as well. So just as that knight of rods is leaving behind the challenges that come with the five of pentacles and the five of cups, so too you might want to move away from your negative stage situation and on to something more fulfilling for your, uh, for your, for your spirit. I'm getting a little hoarse here. <clears throat> so today might be a good day to, be a, to do a bit of soul searching and examine whether your interactions with others leave you empowered or disempowered, whether there are any relationships or situations that are causing you more harm than benefit. If so, you might want to carefully consider an exit strategy and free yourself from that which is keeping you down. It might be time to move on to the next chapter of your story. So the message that I'm getting for these three cards is, <clears throat> A fear of the unknown keeps a lot of people from leaving bad situations because they know 
what to expect every day versus leaving and not knowing what to expect. If your soul is suffering, it might be time to leave your safe harbor and venture off into uncertainty. So today's advice card comes from the Chronicles of Destiny fortune cards. And the card drawn randomly from the deck is number nine, accepting the quest. So the accepting the quest card is, is about change, which is exactly what we've been talking about thus far in today's reading. You know, if you're hearing the calls to leave, to move on to a new phase of your life, then this card gives you the go-ahead. This might be involved. Uh, this might involve uh, accepting a new job offer, um, taking up a new challenge, or, or simply promising yourself that you are going to rise to a challenge that's been laid out for you. Keep in mind, though, that they are called challenges for a reason. They are not always easy, but oftentimes they are life-changing. And that is your daily tarot map for today. If you like this video, I'd appreciate it if you click the like like button below. And uh, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Brightest blessings.